All right, Clockwork Pineapple. Uh, feeding, surely you're joking. Um, we had a little bit of a discussion here about the Tinker setups. They're not doing well today. Why? Uh, that, I mean, we were discussing the, the skill and how intensive it is to actually fly them. A lot of people see it as an I win button or look at this. They do really well. It must be easy. Get into it and micromanaging the modules on those logistics in particular. I mean, I think I saw a, a screenshot of one of the Tinker logistics ships that was running SCL and it had something like 15 active modules. So managing mm -hmm. overheat, managing your cap, managing those modules gets very stressful very fast. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have in our whole alliance two pilots mm. who are allowed to fly the logistic ships in our setups. No one else. Mm. So if those two pilots aren't there for a weekend, we're not flying tinkers. That's true for SEL mm. as well as alliance tournament. It is really stressful and uh, really interesting to listen to them mm. on on uh, on the uh, comms because they uh, they tend to scream and shout and beck and cry a lot. Is it advantageous to be a pianist if you're a logistics? Uh... <laughs> uh, combination uh, pianist and juggler. And if you juggling. can do both Absolutely. at the same time, then yes. you can uh, fly logistics in an EVE Online tournament. So why are so why are some? Oh, I was just about to say, why are these bad teams? But so so why are these these maybe not top tier teams so attracted to flying the Tinkers? Uh, I think that a lot of times Tinker they have this perception that allows you to not actually do like manual flying in space. You just sort of like pick an anchor and then just sort of anchor around. Activate modules, go AFK. They're just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're used to other types of fleets in EVE Online where you pick an anchor and then just can blindly activate your modules and it just works. Uh, this doesn't quite happen uh, for Tinker teams. Uh, so like, it, some people may have run like RR battleship gangs, uh, and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, it's just the same. It's not. No, absolutely. I mean, flying any ship in a Tinker team is incredibly stressful. I mean, since especially if you're getting new pressure from an Armageddon or Curse or whatever. Um, you have to time your injector, cap injector, just right so that you're able to inject and then activate your energy transfer module. If you don't, that's probably the whole uh, team gone. Right, and there's also the fits. You know, if, if these guys aren't fitting up to the same standards, that they're not using the fits correctly, even if they copy and paste the fit. Are they applying the EWAR correctly? Are they picking the right primary targets? These things are also critical in a tinker setup, which is low DPS. You have to apply everything correctly to make it work. So at the end of the day, it's not the I win button, it looks like. It's just a very strong setup in the hands of the right pilots. There really have always been certain setups that teams think are really easy to fly, and then they convince themselves that they should do it, and it fails miserably. The old one was like, all ECM Rook team. This will work <laughs> wonderfully. It's super easy. Just jam them out, and they won't be able to kill me. But it's actually impossible. Like, if you don't split your jams properly, or like uh, any any nth number of things that can go wrong, then people are like, oh, just three slip nears and something else. And that works a little, it's a little bit easier to fly than Tinker or ECM setup, but it's still really difficult to manually pilot. Like it's yeah, that's why I'm maybe a little bit sad that dummies are getting bad banned so often now because mm -hmm. I think we would see on a second weekend a lot more dummy teams getting utterly trashed with people just thinking, well, this is great, I'll just fly this and it's an instant I win mm -hmm. one and then proceeding to die horribly, uh, which would be lovely to watch. So maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, later on in the day or perhaps tomorrow we will see that. What's, uh, what's an easy setup to do well with? So let's say I'm making an alliance tournament team. Of course, I could run a tinker setup just myself, but but you know maybe someone not as good at e at Eve as I am. Uh, what would be a good uh, what would be a good setup to run? Well, I think the most important thing is whatever setup you go with, you have to practice, practice, practice. Mm, you have absolutely. to be comfortable in executing that mm. setup. Pick one and practice it. I think if you pick even a tinker and just practice it properly, you're gonna do fairly well with it. Uh, the kind of easiest team to uh, run and actually practice. A lot is probably the Minmatar rush, mm -hmm. and that's probably why we're seeing some not so well known teams do quite well with those. Sure, yeah, it's, it's a fairly straightforward comp. There's not a whole lot of complicated to it. It's a lot of damage, a fair bit of tank, you're very fast. Hmm. You know, you either get on top and brawl if that's the thing to do, or you pull the range and kite. Yeah. All right, uh, next match is ready. Uh, it's Choke Point versus Razor Alliance. Uh, finally, one of the big alliances uh, coming on, which is uh, quite cool to see. Wait. We might have a slight delay. Oh, really? Uh -oh. Yes, we might. <laughs> anyway, so, so, all right, so, so, uh, the Mimitar Rush is a fairly easy, straightforward one. Uh, what, uh, no, actually, uh, the match is suddenly ready, so. Hey! Was, uh, <laughs> that was a very slight delay. Well, that was a very slight, uh, it was a delay, it was a five second delay, uh, which uh, now and then will happen. Choke Point versus Razor Alliance, who do you think is gonna win the one? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Choke Point. Uh, Razor lost to Test Alliance, please ignore, and 
you have to be blindly incompetent to lose to them. So. <laughs> I'm going to have to agree, choke point. Uh, losing to test is, uh, sorry, sorry, test, but a bit of an embarrassment. I think Razor is going to have to pull it out of the back on this one. Yeah. They, uh, they, they <laughs> obviously assumed that test was a walkover. They weren't, yeah. but now they're going to bring their proper composition. Yeah. I think Razor is going to bring one of their sharpest setups, um, but uh, let's, uh, let's find out. <laughs> 